Who's Greg? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 15, Episode 18. The third ever last episode of this show, and they pull an Infinity War. No joke. Billy's pissed, God just disappears, Jack blows up but then doesn't blow up. The brothers are basically trying to fight off death, Billy, while all of a sudden their friends and family start to disappear. At first it's people from other universes, you know, that whole aspect that Andrew Dabb made or thought was very important and then he brought them over and then just dropped them entirely for nearly forever up until now they all started disappearing but then it seems to be a bit more than that all the while dean and castiel are trying to take on billy herself who is dying for some reason because she's been attacked by the scythe i see what they were trying to do with this episode and certain aspects of it aren't the worst there are some cool moments for instance, I didn't think I would be as intrigued as to seeing a text reply in a show before, mainly because you can associate that with real life, as well as the ending. The ending of the episode really gives you a cliffhanger, even if it is straight out of Infinity War. However, on the bad side, there is a little bit, okay, not just a little bit, a lot of melodrama, particularly with that end scene with Castiel. That dialogue... I couldn't help but just squirm because that was cringy. That was some sappy ass dialogue. I know some of you are going to be like, oh, it's great. It's as close to your death steal as you're ever going to get, even though it's just a forced concept. But I don't know. I felt like this was just too much. I felt like this was just way over the top. I felt like I was right in a fucking soap opera with that ending. And in the end, it's not as eventful as I thought it would be and that was something that this episode had a lot of was boring I was kind of surprised with how much nothing happens in this episode despite there being an abundance of supposed things happening in the background I think it was mainly because right off the bat you thought Jack was dead but then he blows up comes back to the empty and then comes back to reality that's the fourth time this motherfucker has died and he was brought back in an even quicker fashion. What are the stakes in this show? Charlie comes back in this episode for the purpose of... As well as Jim Beaver's in this episode for one scene. He also... The effect that's happening. The, the effect is endgame. It's Infinity War. They literally pulled an Infinity War. And guess what? The next episode is going to be about them bringing everyone back. You rip off the Marvel Universe. Oh, wow. You lazy. Maybe that's what they're trying to do because they realize that they can't do anything new with fight scenes. I love it how they squared off against Billy. Like, yeah, we're going to fight you. <sighs> Fall on the floor. Get up. Hey, I'm going to focus on one of you. Even though one of you is over there, I'm just going to wait until someone attacks me. Oh, no. The fight choreography of this show has been so bland and so boring for such a long time. <sighs> this is it. We're in the final two episodes. Particularly the next episode is going to be the, sh the season finale. The end of the Chuck story, whereas apparently episode 20 is going to be the series finale. That's at least that's from what I've seen. It does a decent job at building up to the final episode even if it is a complete ripoff of something that has done it far better it's not horrible but in terms of pre pre season finales it's not exactly the most entertaining it's not exactly the most engaging for me i preferred the previous episode far more over this one this one honestly is just trying to do beat for beat for again infinity war so in the end, I'm going to give Despair, that's what this episode is, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 7. I'm kind of despaired because I try to stay awake for this episode. Anyways guys, that's all for me. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. I will do a video reading your guys' comments from the previous video, it's just been a really busy week. 
and I haven't got around to it. I'm going to try to do it, so maybe I'll try and do both of these videos over the weekend. But either way, let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're almost there. We're almost there. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.